Hi guys. Some of you might call it sunscreen. Some of you might call it sunblock. But whatever, okay? Today I'll be sharing a beginner's guide on sunblock slash sunscreen. After today's video, you should be able to learn how to read those labels on the sunscreen bottles so that you can choose what suits you best. A lot of people don't really understand the importance of sunblock, okay? The sun is like a double-edged sword, okay? The sun gives us nice looking selfies, but that's about it, okay? While you're taking that selfie, you're actually getting like... So while taking that selfie, your skin is also taking damage from the UVA and UVB rays from the sun. So let me tell you the important things about this rays. I don't want to go on and on and on about this sun thing, but I just want to tell you the most important points. So listen up, okay? So when you're standing in the sun, the most important rays that comes into play is number one, UVA. And number two, UVB. So UVB is the one that causes sunburn. For example, when you're going to the beach and you're sun tanning, this is the one that gives you sunburn. So UVA is the one that causes aging. Okay, aging. Ouch. Age spots, freckles, wrinkles, many many other things. But yeah. These two rays come together to cause damage to your skin that causes skin cancer, okay? So, please take care of yourself. If you want to look young, if you don't want skin cancer, please use sunblock, okay? So the perfect and the best sunblock can be really expensive. So make sure that you are choosing one that is protecting you enough and at the same time is within your budget as well. So imagine going down the aisle of like your supermarket or your convenience store and then you see like a row of some blocks. What should you choose? So there are a few pointers that you need to look out for when you are choosing your sunblock. Number one, broad spectrum. Broad spectrum means that you are actually protected from both UVA and UVB rays. Normally on the label of the bottle, you will, you will be able to see broad spectrum. So some brands don't put broad spectrum in the bottle, but it's in the fine print. And in the fine print, they sometimes also rephrase it into protected from UVA and UVB rays. Another pointer, please don't think that you will only get sunburn when you are sun tanning, okay? Sun tanning is a very serious level of burn already. And that is what you need to avoid. But if you are looking at like your normal walking out in the sun, going out to buy food, or like uh, going out to get groceries, that is also still a kind of burn. But it's so minute that you can't really feel it or you can't really see it. So please get a broad spectrum one. Number two, SPF. So SPF is the one that takes care of UVB rays. It protects you from all the harmful burns that you can't see, but it's burning you. Yeah, I'm sure you guys already know. The higher the number, the better. But did you know that higher the number doesn't mean that you are protected for the whole day? Every 15 SPF is equal to about one to two hours of coverage. However, you should need to discount that a little bit because generally in the, in the span of a day, we generally sweat and like touch our face and therefore just discount it a little bit and make sure that you are reapplying the number of times needed throughout the day. Some blocks with higher SPF might come out to be more expensive. An alternative for you is to get a smaller SPF and reapply it throughout the day. So for myself, I use a variety of sunblock. So starting from my moisturizer, which is a CC cream, I use a SPF 30. For my foundation, I use a SPF 34. And last but not least, I will always do a last spray with SPF 50. So I bring this out with me because it's easy to use, it's not greasy, I don't need to wash my hands after that. I just need to spray it all over again to reapply. But however, if you are looking for something smaller, you can also bring up like something like that. Small sunblock with 
a good SPF level that you can easily just pump it out and apply on your face. Moving on to the third point. So the third point is looking out for PA. PA is the one that protects you from UVA rays, meaning no wrinkles, no edge spots, no freckles, no white spots, dark spots, edge spots, whatever. Okay? I'm sure you guys have seen all the sunblock bottles in the world. They have a lot of pluses everywhere. Okay? So for PA, it starts from PA plus to PA plus 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 plus. So four pluses. Okay? So four pluses is the max plus that we have in the market right now. And of course, the higher the plus, the more expensive it's gonna be. Again, please choose the one that is suitable for your budget. My powerhouse one, this one, is a PA++++, four pluses, okay? So this one is the one that I use as the last layer of protection across my body. And number four, ingredients. When you're looking out for sunblock, please make sure that you're looking out for these ingredients because these ingredients help you to take care of your skin better in the sun. I'm reading off a paper because these names are like just too chemistry. I can't really take it. Okay, so zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, avobenzone, and oxybenzone. So these ingredients are the ones that help to protect your skin better from the UV rays that's coming in on your skin. So just make sure that you look out for these ingredients when you are choosing your sunblock. So one misconception that I would like to share with everybody is some sunblocks would say they are waterproof, okay? But please note that your sweat is not just about water. This waterproof feature is more for when you are going for swimming and you are going to the sea whatsoever and this would be more water resistant than waterproof. So when I'm going out to swim or when I'm going out to the sea, this is my preferred option of sunblock. So this is very water resistant as stated in the label. And it's high SPF, SPF 50 with PA++++. So it's, this is like the best out of all which I only use when I'm out in the sea, I'm out like on a boat or something, that's when I will use this. This is like my prized possession of sunblocks. So I don't use this very often. Yeah. So I hope that today's video has shed some light on the importance of sunblock and how you should choose your sunblock. It's better to start early and to start regularly because by the time the sun does damage to your skin, it's gonna be too late and you probably only realize it after. And then after that, when you decide to go to the facial or like the spa or whatever to fix your skin, too late. Okay, too late. By the time you already spend more money on all these things, then taking care of your skin in the first place by buying a sunblock, okay? So again, thank you guys so much for watching. So if you're looking for even more foolproof beginner guides, you can check out my channel. And I upload weekly Asian beauty tips that you can also look out for. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!